Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a tarot card reading for you, Taurus, for the last three months of 2022. Let's see. Let's get right into it. Let's get a moon oracle card for Taurus for the last three months of 2022. A time to give rather than take. That's the new moon in Virgo. And take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. I don't know what some of these moons are, but I do know what the new moon in Virgo is. Okay, and expect powerful change. I love that. I love that, the new moon eclipse. Wow, some kind of big powerful change coming to you these last three months, Doris. Can't wait to see what that's all about. And a time to give rather than take. I don't ever quite understand the meaning of that until I get going in the reading. Let's see. <laughs> what kind of animal spirit is walking with Taurus for the last three months? Oh, the hyena, the black egg, and the shark. Wow, Taurus, this is beautiful. So you're holding on to some kind of unrealized potential here when it comes to spirituality, feeling very on guard. Look at this with the hyena and the shark very on guard about it too. Like someone is challenging you or someone is resisting your beliefs here in something. So you're about to crack right wide open though and reveal what you're, what you're feeling here. Absolutely reveal what you're feeling here. Yeah. Look at this with the dragonfly on the bottom of the deck. Ooh, Taurus, you're going to reveal something here. Beautiful. I love this. <laughs> Maybe you're like going to be a tarot card reader and you're about to reveal it. And your family's going to be like, what? <laughs> All right, let's see. What's up in the ether? What does Taurus not see coming these last three months? Four of air, four of swords. That's rest. That's rest after the battle here. So yeah, who, who can blame me for that one? It's been a tough year for Taurus, for sure. It's been a tough 10 years for Taurus. But uh, yeah, you are definitely on the other side of this because now is the time for rest at the end of this year you really have to rest take care of yourself here taurus oh my god look at this with you on the bottom of the deck with the nine of earth nine of pentacles so there's real independence coming in for money for you too not so much worry when it comes to money now it's just all about resting and healing for you so beautiful i, I really love this all right taurus i am going to pull three lines. I'm going to do October, November, and December, and then we'll pull some energies coming in at you for those months. So Spirit, tell us about the first week of October for Taurus. First week of October for Taurus. Taurus. Oh, goodness, look at this. Yeah, <laughs> big revelations coming into you. Wow. With the tower coming in right off the bat, the first week of October. So yeah, huge, huge transformation after this rest. It's like you get up, you rub the sleep out of your eyes and you're like, bam, I'm ready to go. This, some kind of, uh, thought or some kind of uh, information, I will have to absolutely get some clarification on that comes into you this first week of October Taurus and changes everything. <laughs> But do not fear because look at the second week of October with the Ace of Cups. So this really opens up your heart. It really allows you to love again, allows you to trust again, allows you to open up again. You've been very closed off for good reason. For good reason, you've been resting. And um, yeah, this allows you to a reopening of the heart for Taurus. Oh, I love this. I love this. The second week, you're going to understand a lot of the purpose in the heartbreak that that was um in your life really you're going to find some real real purpose in this so uh beautiful that second week of october we come into this kind of knowing hmm i love this <laughs> some kind of revelation all right the third week of october for taurus spirit show me the third week of october third week of october i saw the devil wanted to come out but i i just put him back in because i wanted to see if he really did want to show himself here. <laughs> Reveal yourself, devil. <laughs> Third week of October. Wow, Taurus, look at the strength coming into you from this, from this. It was a false foundation. It wasn't, 
it wasn't uh, right for you. And so spirit comes in and they take, they take that down from you because you're, you're, you are very determined. You are very determined. I'm a Taurus son. I totally get this determination. When you put so much time and energy into something, it's like, I'm going to make this work by God. I didn't get this far just to get this far. And so you just keep going Taurus. And then sometimes spirit comes in and just, bam, it just changes your, they change your mind. They change your circumstances. Something happens here in that first week of October. And it really opens up your heart. It allows you to love again. And it brings you a strength you didn't know you had with that Leo energy coming into you. Look at this with the eight of wands too. In that last week of October, it's just really moving quickly for you. This, this changes everything for you. What happens here in this first week of October changes everything for you and uh, brings you some really, really fast changing energy at that last week of October. You're going to go into November completely um, feeling different, just feeling different than you do right now. I'll tell you that there's something big that comes in and opens up your heart. It just, it gets right into your heart space and just opens you right up. It's like, bam, right in your heart space here, Taurus, in that second week of October, something gets you and it gets you in a good feeling emotional way. Not this, oh my God, terror. And I don't know if I'm going to survive this. This is, oh my God, I didn't know it could feel this good. I didn't know I could open up this much to someone and be vulnerable to someone and have it return to me and have me feel stronger for it. It's really beautiful, really beautiful. Look at this, that first week of November, there's some reciprocity coming in for you when it comes to money, some kind of return, some kind of, um, you've got two eights here too. So yeah, a real return of karma and money to you, Taurus. If anything had been taken from you in the past, there's some kind of um, victory here. There's some kind of winning here that gives it back to you. If somebody tried to get away with something and that's really what this tower is looking more to me like in the first week of October, like some kind of revelation that that's why you're allowed to heal now. That's why you're allowed to open up again and trust again. And that brings in reciprocity because I think somebody tried to to hold back from you, try to with, withhold um, money from you and um, emotion as well too. They, they weren't revealing something here to you and, and you found out or you, they revealed or something happens in this first week of October and it opens up this reciprocity for you, not only in money, but in karma in good feeling. Like you just didn't know it could feel this good. You didn't know it would feel this intense on the other side of it. So Wow. It's really beautiful. Second week of November. It's like you go into this isolation now because you're, you're so everything's so new, everything's so different after this kind of revelation moment in the first week of October. So now you're, you're coming into some kind of isolation where you're trying to find that key to true prosperity. Now, true big money now, big money now, because you've been in lack for so long. You've been in, I don't have enough for so long. So the second week of November, again, with determination, I'm feeling this real strong determination from you that you will break free. You will not live in chains. You will not be held back. Freedom. It's just, I can almost hear you screaming Taurus in that second week of November. Freedom, like Braveheart. Freedom. <laughs> yeah. You come into a real interesting beautiful freedom, life-changing freedom. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. What about the third week of November for Taurus? Third week of November for Taurus. Look at this really fast incoming messages. Wow. <laughs> really fast. And it brings in some kind of reconnection, some kind of, uh, yeah, reignition or something of this past, uh, relationship that you've had for a very long time standing relationship it brings in this real deep connection with the two of you this real uh uh mm, this real soulmate energy feeling coming in with these with the two of you here and especially going into strength coming out of strength there on the october october line interesting some kind of clear communication coming right for you right at you and it uh, heartwarming to you again with the heartwarming, you're going to be feeling a real opening of the heart. Love this. All right. The first week of December for Taurus. Taurus. Taurus, look at you. King of Pentacles coming into that first week of December, feeling really solid now, feeling very on stable ground now on your, on a, a, a different foundation here now as well. But yeah, some kind of reconnection in November 
opens up some some options for you opens up some a new beginnings when it comes to the heart and money as well too i don't know if this is a job change or a career change or just a thought change but it it's heartwarming it it really re sparks your heart chakra it opens it up i can just see this light flooding out of your heart chakra by the second uh last week of november here my god it's this huge opening of emotion emotion and it brings in just a sense of security and safe and and uh, a feeling you haven't felt in a very long time this just real feeling of stableness peacefulness freedom again freedom freedom second week of December, that soulmate energy. So you're really connecting with this person here. You guys have gone through a lot together. You've, you've aged together. You've conquered together. You've battled together. You've um, so many things. And it goes back so, so far with you two. There's a bond here that is just never will be broken. It's like you're from the same spiritual embryo and you just you just split here and, and it's really coming into focus the second week of december here it's really coming into focus where you felt isolated uh before you're feeling this heart connection you never imagined possible it, it's really amazing here in that second week of december wow wow so beautiful just intense Third week of December for Taurus. Third week. Oh, look at this with the star energy coming in for that massive healing that's coming in for you. Massive healing with the soulmate. Unbelievable. That's beautiful. I've I feel this connection and it's it opens up everything for you. It just moves you. That's just this bam. This I've I've I found it. I found it. I found the secret and it was some kind of connection, some kind of soulmate connection that found your way back to each other somehow, some way and changed everything for you both. Really, really heartwarming here and just gives you this sense of security in your foundation because I'm still reading, you know, certain things in the cards here and it gives you this sense of security that you haven't had in a very long time. Look at temperance coming in in that last week of December. Look at my Archangel Michael card coming in. This is divine. This is divine. This is beautiful. And I mean, this could be any any relationship in your life, somebody you've really connected with your entire life. You've had this connection. It doesn't have to be romantic. It's just a connection, but it's deeper than I've seen in a very long time. And it goes back lifetimes. So it's really uh, beautiful. <laughs> And that's coming into focus. It's coming into your reality. Look at the Hierophant coming in last. It came out. Look at the major arcana, Taurus, in December. <laughs> you have elevated. You have risen. You have uh, freedom. Freedom. This is you. Oh, my God. Look at the bottom of the deck with the magician. Wow, Taurus. I'm so freaking happy for you to see this because December is huge for you it's huge for you it, it's life-changing for you it brings in this connection or these connections that make you feel like you are so needed and so valuable and so worthy and so um equal it's not even this um inequality in these relationships at all it's just so equal and and really um profound it's just so profound these relationships coming to the forefront for you at, at the last month of 2022. It's just amazing. It's amazing that this transformation, this elevation, this graduation into the next phase here, and it's all about freedom, freedom. You are free from any bonds, from any, that's why the devil wanted to come out. You're free. You're free of uh, worry and stress and, um, and heartache and grieving. And it's just this, this real profound freedom coming through for you. Wow. All right, Spirit, what kind of energies are coming to Taurus the first week of October? What energies are coming into Taurus? Ooh, the Ace of Cups. There's that emotional offer, that, that uh, truth or that something that changes everything for you. It really just opens up your heart. It's just, bam, it's like this uh, arrow right for the heart for Taurus. And it, it allows you to just, oh, just open up, just let your heart just 
um, breathe. It, it's just, um, it's weird. It's amazing, but it's crazy. It's just giving me just such this sense of groundingness and um, safe and secure and uh, loved. And it's just amazing. It's amazing. Look at this, the three of pentacles in the second week of October. There's, there's that higher learning that, that, uh, uh, yeah, just opening up that opening up the revelations, the awakenings, the light bulb moments coming to you, Taurus. It's amazing. What about the third week of October what kind of energies? King of Cups, there's unrequited love, but that gives you strength. So yeah, the soulmate isn't really talking. They're processing their, their own things and they are keeping it to themselves the third week of October. They're, they're looking at you the same way, like what's happening here? There's something happening here and they're not quite sure what it is. Look at the chariot coming out in the fourth week of October for your person. That's that's just so amazing because as you're going through this huge awakening, this huge enlightenment, they're doing the same thing. So, wow, that's just incredible. That's just incredible. You're both about to crack wide open. Look at this. They get the tower energy the first week of November. So you get it the first week of October. Here it comes for them the first week of November. This is their awakening. This is their change. This is their uh, wow, uh, Taurus is standing right in front of me and, and I, I'm not, uh, I, I, I took him for granted or I wasn't aware or I can't ever, I, I don't know what this is because it's very independent. It's not codependency. It's a breaking free of that for each of you, but then coming together. So it's like detaching from the outcome of this relationship and then just coming together so strong. It's like, you didn't see that coming. You didn't, and neither did they, neither did they. What about the second week of November? Queen of Pentacles. Look at this queen of Pentacles. So while you're feeling a little left out or a little excluded or a little unseen when it comes to money, they're feeling very seen here, very heard now after this moment of theirs. So the first week of November, some kind of news comes in or some kind of truth to opening or some kind of freedom comes in for them free of whatever it was holding them back and then they fall into this real safe secure feeling uh place in the second week of november third week of november oh my god you both get knight of swords <laughs> wow doris this is beautiful because there's some kind of truth or revelation coming um for both of you and it really opens up this heart feeling this this wow this this i i feel, think i've just witnessed a miracle you're both going to be thinking at least thinking and but these are words these are really clear clear messages coming to you truths coming to you two of pentacles on the six of cups for you so the last week of November, they're going to be juggling their finances. They're going to be trying to decide if they should take this offer that came in so quickly. You got an offer and they got an offer or you both got an offer together <coughs> in the third week of November, excuse me. <clears throat> and that is putting this person in juggling mode and deciding what do I do? Wow. Interesting. Okay. First week of December for this person, the emperor. So you're, yeah very very aries energy coming in first week of december for your person here and very determined very determined to get their own freedom to get their own happiness here and then come together with you with their happiness to share that so wow this is really turning into quite the uh story here because i'm seeing these two towers for both of you on the first week of the next two months and it just changes everything for both of you so there's some kind of decision for them and then they come into a uh, answer. Here's their answer. Here's, I know exactly what to do. And you're sitting so pretty with the King of Pentacles underneath here that it doesn't matter what they do. It's going to work. <laughs> Look at this, the six of wands. They are feeling seen by you. They are feeling like you're hearing them too. And that feel makes them feel very safe and solid and respected. And <clears throat> wow, this is really, really beautiful with this person coming in. This energy, um, that's with you. It's just with you throughout the next three months. And you have these big things happen to both of you. And then December brings in this kind of um, finale, this kind of grand finale of 2022 for both of you. All right. The, the third week of December, the third week of December for Taurus. 
five of pentacles look at that so you had the five of pentacles in october or no in november they get it in december so for some reason they're right behind you they're feeling right behind you and then look of course they get the king of pentacles then right behind you for the last week so this works out beautifully for them that decision pays off for them that that really elevates them it promotes them it, it brings them higher in in status of some way shape or form and it has to do with money for sure. So they're getting some kind of raise, some kind of offer. Maybe that's a big decision because maybe it's out of state. And, and But something is going on for you anyway. So you're so focused on you and sitting in some freedom and gaining your freedom and, and this this heart opening of yours, this heart warming feeling, this, this feeling of um, belonging for Taurus coming in. And then your person coming right behind you with all of the same emotions and um, feelings. So, wow, <laughs> it's beautiful. Look at this at the bottom of the deck with the 10 of wands. Those are the burdens that each of you had along the way here and um, that you've allowed to, to lay down. You lay down, you've made it there. The home line is there. So, home is there for both of you look at this to the star oh my god and then the fool under that so this story is is continuing on and and in, in a new way a new way for taurus you, you're just going to go into 23 with the sense of i'm not sure what's going to happen but i can't wait to get there and you have this purity of heart and you have this um just this whole new found look on life and and what it means and what is valuable and what your your worthiness means to you after this huge healing Huge, huge healing. So I love this, Taurus. I absolutely love this. Look at you, King of the Wands. Look, we could keep going. <laughs> there's the boundaries <laughs> and there's a hierophant again. Okay. All right. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. If you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. I'll keep doing my weeklies, but I just wanted to take a peek at the end of the year. And my God, you're really going through a big awakening here, a big, big um, demand for freedom for Taurus. So, and you get it. I mean, it's just, you're coming into 23 with this sense of freedom like you never had before. You, you haven't experienced this yet. So it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay. I will tune in soon. Thank you so very much for watching.